Ever watched your toddler stack blocks like their life depends on it or ask the same why question over and over again? What if I told you in those tiny moments, their brain is actually rewiring itself, building the foundation for how they'll learn, love and live for years to come. Hi friends, welcome to Science Sense Parenting where love and science meet. I'm Sherry and in today's video, we're talking about something that affects every single child. How early childhood education shapes your baby's brain. We'll explore how play, preschool, and even everyday moments at home can actually build the foundation for your child's learning and emotions. And how those early experiences shape their future success, all backed by real science. From the moment your baby is born, their brain begins building itself, literally. In the first few years, it creates over a million new neural connections every second. That's faster than at any other time in life, and it means early experiences hold massive power. These early years lay the foundation for how children learn, walk, talk, regulate emotions, solve problems, and connect with others. According to the Harvard Center on the Developing Child, early experiences shape the brain's architecture, just like framing a house. A strong frame leads to a stronger structure for life. What makes this stage especially powerful is neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to adapt and reorganize itself based on experiences. In early childhood, neuroplasticity is at its peak, making this a once-in-a-lifetime window for brain shaping. As explained by the National Academy of Sciences, nurturing, talking, playing, and exposure to learning environments have an outsized impact in these early years, shaping how the brain wires itself for thinking, feeling, and behavior. Preschool isn't just a place to play. When done well, it's a powerhouse for brain development. Kids in high-quality programs develop language, cognitive, emotional, and social skills in rich, engaging ways. Research led by Nobel laureate Dr. James Heckman and colleagues shows that preschool has long-term benefits, including better academic performance, emotional intelligence, higher earnings later in life, and even better physical health. Their analysis found that children who attend strong early learning programs show higher IQs, better social skills, and improved health and income decades later. And a large research review by Camille and colleagues confirms that preschool supports the development of communication, empathy, cooperation, and self-regulation, especially in underserved populations. There's a reason why the early years are so powerful Neuroscience tells us that some brain systems, like language, vision, and emotional control, develop most rapidly during what scientists call sensitive periods. During these times, the brain is especially open to being shaped by experience, both positively and negatively. Providing a nurturing, stimulating environment during these windows can set the stage for lifelong health and success. Early education don't just shape how your child thinks, they also affect their physical health. A 2021 report from the National Scientific Council on the Developing Child revealed that strong early development improves stress regulation, immune function, and long-term well-being. It's a powerful reminder. Nurturing relationships, language-rich environments, and safe stimulating spaces don't just build smart kids, they build healthier humans. Children's brains grow in stages, first building sensory and motor systems, then language, and later the prefrontal cortex, which handles memory, focus, and self-control. These systems thrive through play, interaction, and exploration. Every question asked, every pretend game played, it's not just fun. It's building stronger brain circuits. Play isn't a break from learning, it is learning. Pretending to be a doctor, sorting toys by color, or building a tower that crashes, it's all helping wire their brain for deeper learning later on. Kids don't need lectures or lessons to learn. They need play, curiosity, emotion coaching, and connection. According to developmental neuroscientist Adele Diamond, activities like pretend play, music, puzzles, and turn-taking games help develop executive functions, skills like impulse control, working memory, and flexible thinking. 
all essential for both learning and life. And the beauty is, it's not about fancy toys or flashcards. It's about rich, responsive experiences with caring adults. Here's the most beautiful part. You are your child's first and most important teacher. Want to boost brain growth in your everyday parenting? Try these. Respond with love to their signals. Narrate your day, even during diaper changes. Read books together, even the same one over and over. Offer open-ended toys like blocks or crayons. Make time for pretend play and silly questions. Talk, connect, and listen. Even during the mundane moments, make space for curiosity and be okay with a little mess. Let them explore and ask why, even when it's the 12th time today. According to the CDC and Zero to Three, these loving, responsive interactions are among the most powerful tools for developing your child's brain. Investing in early childhood education helps not just kids, it helps everyone. Studies show that for every $1 spent on high-quality preschool, society gains $7 to $13 through higher productivity, lower crime, better health, and reduced social costs. A comprehensive research report from the Foundation for Child Development and the Society for Research in Child Development shows that early childhood programs are among the most effective ways to strengthen public health and economic well-being. When we support early learning as parents, educators, or advocates, we're not just helping individual children. We're helping build a smarter, healthier, and more resilient society for everyone. So what can we take away from all this? Early childhood education, both at home and in quality programs, shapes your child's brain in powerful, lasting ways. It's one of the best gifts we can offer. But here's the thing, this isn't about being perfect. You don't need fancy tools or daily lesson plans. What matters most is connection, consistency, and care. Every song, every cuddle, every patient pause, it all adds up. If this video helped clarify the science behind those precious early years, give it a like, subscribe to Science Sense Parenting, and share it with a friend who might need this today. Thanks so much for spending this time with me today and for all the beautiful energy you give to your child's world. You're doing amazing. Until next time, take care and keep shining.